Happy Friday, Jackson County stakeholders. Had another great week. This week, we got to celebrate our bus drivers. This was Bus Driver Appreciation Week, and we finished off this week with a great breakfast for them. We also celebrated one of our drivers at the Board of Education meeting, who has served this school district for 38 years. That's quite a commitment, and we want to send a very special thank you out to Mr. Satterfield, who has officially retired after 38 years. And a special thank you to all of our bus drivers who, who take care of our kids back and forth to school each day. We had a good Board of Education meeting this past Monday and we celebrated the outstanding work happening at East Jackson Elementary School. We also honored our Rotary Students of the Month and I'd like to highlight those students and teachers. Ms. Brooke Trogdon was the, the Rotary Student of the Month at, at East High and she recognized Mr. Miguel Gisasola, her band teacher, as the, the Teacher of the Month. And then Mason Williams at Jackson County High School was recognized, and Mason chose Mr. Stephen Bowles as his outstanding Rotary Teacher of the Month. So congratulations to both those students and those teachers. Also at our board meeting, we recognized some teachers who won a Jackson EMC Bright Ideas Award and want to congratulate Miss Dana Harrell and Miss Laura Kalmanecki at West Jackson Middle, who got a little extra funds to do some creative work with students there. We introduced a new Excellence in Service Award and had two of our first recipients. That went to Mr. Joe Persley at West Jackson Elementary School and to Ms. Leah Hollett, who's an outstanding parent volunteer at South Jackson. Many great events happening with our students across the district, as you know, and our volleyball teams are still competitive at the state level, so we want to wish them a great, great, great success, and uh, East Jackson High School softball team is continuing on at the state level, so congratulations to those groups. Want to remind you that we do have another rezoning hearing at Gum Springs Elementary School on Monday, November the 14th at 6.30 p.m. We'll have our board meeting and the hearing immediately following, so if you're interested in additional information, you can, you can certainly come to that hearing. There's also a list of other dates that will be available, uh, visiting schools at rather informal meetings, student, school council meetings and PTOs to allow folks to just ask ask questions and to look at the map. So there's one today, as a matter of fact, at North Jackson Elementary School from 5 to 6 that will be followed by their fall festival. We have a board advisory council that we want to thank and they have committed to taking a tour of all of our schools. So next Friday, um, our parent council, they're an advisory group to our board, will be visiting all of our schools um, across the entire county. So they'll get a good picture of the great activities that are happening at all of our schools. Thank you for continuing to support the outstanding work of our students and our teachers and celebrating them as they succeed and hope you have a delightful weekend.